music, arts, BE, and health. Schoolinaire Mape. Physical Education for Grade 7. In this activity, you will undergo a series of physical fitness tests in order to determine your level of fitness and identify your strengths and weaknesses for you to develop your exercise program. Do you know of any reason why you should not do physical activities, especially health conditions? If your answer is yes, just observe and learn but please prepare your supporting documents and contact your MAPI teacher. If your answer is no, participate in LEARN as we start the lesson. Music Arts PE And Health School on Air MAPE PE7 Physical Fitness Episode 1 Hello everyone! Welcome to our PE class. Our lesson for today involves movement or physical activities. So I hope you have rested well last night so you have the energy today to do our activities. To start with, we need a wider space for our activity. So if your place is not yet set, I'm giving you 30 seconds to move your things. You may start now. Our lesson is all about physical fitness. At the end of this video, at the end of this class, you should be able to define physical fitness in your own words and execute our push-up challenge activity which is one of the simplest ways to assess your physical fitness. So to start our lesson, let us define physical fitness. I want you to read it with me. Physical fitness is the ability to function efficiently and effectively, to enjoy leisure, resist disease, and to cope with emergency situations. So, physical fitness is all about our ability to function. Many times you want to do many things, but do we have the ability to do those things? Especially if it requires our being physically fit. We should also be efficient and effective. Being efficient is doing things right. And being effective is doing the right things. I repeat. Being efficient is doing things right, and being effective is doing the right things. We should be doing the right thing, and also we have to do it the right way. So that is being efficient and being effective, whether it be our leisure time or our vacant time, whether we are fighting a disease, or whether we are also on an emergency situation. 
such as suddenly we're going to lift an object, suddenly we're going to carry a heavy object. Are you physically fit to do those things? Physical fitness, the localized concept. So how do we apply physical fitness here in Baguio City, in our locality? Say for example, you are asked to carry heavy objects, like vegetables, or anything heavy, or one sack of rice. If you are not physically fit, then you might not be able to do the task. There are many tasks that we can see in our locality. Say for example, they ask you to go and fetch water. What about climbing trees? Or what about climbing the mountain? <laughs> These activities that can be seen here in Baguio City, say for example in the market, they carry vegetables. So those people carrying vegetables are physically fit or should be physically fit. So in our locality, in our society itself, we need to be physically fit to do the different tasks. Can you evaluate someone's physical fitness through physical appearance? We do not assess physical fitness through our physical appearance. Say for example, not because you're fat, it doesn't mean you're weak. Young Jeng Long, not from Baguio City, fat but strong. Or it doesn't mean that you have a very good physical appearance, it means you're very strong. SpongeBob SquarePants with big muscles, trying to lift an anchor but he cannot do it. Not because you're thin, it doesn't mean you are weak. Shivendra Parmar, very thin person but can pull a car using his shoulder backbone. Or we do not assess someone's physical fitness or someone's physical abilities through our physical appearance. There are also ways for us to know or to assess our physical fitness condition. And we have in our lesson, we have the health related fitness and also we have the skill related fitness. Now we start on with health related fitness. We're in under the health related fitness, we have the body composition. Body composition refers to proportion of lean body mass to fat body mass. We have the cardiovascular endurance. Cardiovascular endurance, the ability of the lungs, heart, and blood vessels to deliver adequate oxygen. We have flexibility. Flexibility, the ability of the muscles and joints to go through a full range of motion. The muscular strength. Muscular strength, the ability of the muscle to exert maximal effort in a brief duration. And muscular endurance. Muscular endurance, defined as the maximum pull or push that can be exerted one time by a muscle group. For this lesson, we are going to focus on muscular strength. So, under muscular strength, we have the 90 degree push-up as our activity. So, without further ado, let's start on that activity. Now, before we do activities, do not forget to do warm-ups. In this episode, one of your outputs is to set your goals for your daily exercise. In your set goals, warm-up is part of your program. So let me show you some warm-ups that you can do, that you can put in your program. But you can search for other warm-ups.
So to continue on, I would like to call my partner here for the demonstration of the proper uh, push-up or proper way to do the push-ups. So as we have said, we have to be efficient and we have to be effective. It means that we have to do things right and also we have to be doing the right things. So <clears throat> first is to know, first is to know the right position of our hands. Where do we put or where do we position our hands? So others would say it's very wide, the others would say it's very close, but where do we uh, position our hands and also how do we know if we are on the right position? Okay, so for the hand you just uh, stretch your arms forward and you can open your palm here and then retract it backward. And that would be our uh, position for the hands. So our partner, please do it. There you go. You can uh, lie down on the floor first and then try to measure your shoulder. We have to make sure that the body is straight. Straight, when you go up straight, it should be slanting. The buttocks will not be pointing up but it should be on slanting line, it should be straight. And also the arms, when it goes up, then it also be straight. And then goes down straight and up. Okay, partner, would you mind to do it on this side so they can see the correct way to do it. All right, so from this point, you can see in this angle that uh, the body on the floor and then when it goes up it is also straight so let's just do it partner we have one right then down then up down then up okay so I'll try to show the wrong way of the uh, wrong way to do the the buttocks pointing up well, there you go. So it's not okay. So do the right thing there. Okay, down and then I want you to show how to measure the the correct position of the arms. Okay, there you have it. Okay, let's do it one more time. One, and then two, and then three. Alright, thank you. So, at this point, what we're going to do is to do the push up 10 times. That would be your first challenge for this lesson or for this meeting is to do 10 push ups. So, later we'll be doing that together with my partner 10 push ups as one of our sample Alright, so now you have seen the proper way to do the 90 degree push up, which is intended for the boys for our PE. However, it is not only limited for the boys, girls may also do that. But the question is, what about for the girls? So at this point, we're going to demonstrate the modified push up for the girls. So I'll be calling my partner for the demonstration of our uh, modified uh, push-up for the girls. <clears throat> so for the demonstration, we're going to have the side view immediately so you can see how it is done properly. 
Alright, so from this point, try to check first the position of your of your hands. Okay, there, so it's in the right position. So you partner bend forward, okay, and it could be right over left or left over right. And then from that point, all you have to do is from your arms you just push it upward so let's do it partner there up and then we have down up and then down so that is the modified push-up for the girls and how many push-ups will you be doing girls same as through with the boys we have 10 push-ups so, partner, please do at least 10 push-ups. Okay. Thank you, partner. Now, at this point, we're going to do the modified push-up and the 90-degree push-up. So, partner, please do the modified push-up, I'll do the 90 degree push-up. Now I'll do the 90 degree push-up. I'll do the 90 degree push-up. Now I'll do, do the, the 90 modified degree push-up. Push I'll do the 90 degree push-up. Alright, so rock, scissors, paper. Ready? Rock, scissors, paper. Again, ready? Okay, so I want, I'll do the 90 degree push-up. Alright? So, partner, ready? presentation we would expect that you also record your 90 degree push-up for the boys and a modified <laughs> uh, modified push-up for the girls 10 counts and that it would be expected next meeting it will be featured in our next class the submission of your uh, video presentation or that would be your expected output will be on Friday so make sure to record those ones or maybe during our class you have been recording then that would be it it would be a raw video of your uh, push-up yes no edits as a starting point we're only doing 10 push-ups as we go along, it increases from 15 to 20 to 25 as you get stronger and stronger and also become healthier. So as we end the lesson, you prepare your paper and pen for the questions to be answered. Music Art PE and help. School on air mape. PE7 Physical Fitness Episode 2. Hello everyone. Welcome to our next episode. In the last episode we had, we defined physical fitness. And under that, we have the first health related fitness which is the muscular strength you have seen the proper execution of the 90 degree push-up and the modified push-up as we move on we're going to take muscular endurance for our next activity 
we have the same procedure to follow. We still need a wider space for our activity. So we start on with the muscular endurance. Muscular endurance defined as the maximum pull or push that can be exerted one time by a muscle group. Under muscular endurance, we have the plank. You need a timer, a stopwatch. For the demonstration, I'm going to do a one minute plank. Let's do it. Ready. One, two, three. this angle so you can see how it's done ready one two three Okay, so one way to measure also your muscular endurance is to do curl-ups or commonly known as sit-ups. However, curl-ups or sit-ups can be replaced by planking. So let me just demonstrate the proper execution of the curl-up or sit-up. We're going to do at least 10 just for the demonstration. So you can have a place where you could insert your toes but if you can do it without anything that holds your feet then that would be okay so from this part we do not allow the hands to be on this area or on the back part of the neck or the hands could be placed here or you could just have it here but not at the back of the head because of the nerves, that's why that is not allowed already. So for the curl-ups, this should be done continuously. So when you stop, that's the end of the number or that's the end of the counting. for the demonstration so once you started you should be continuous once you stop that's the end of the counting do not stop rest and then continue 
flexibility the ability of the muscles and joints to go through a full range of motion another physical fitness test that you'll be doing if you have somebody with you to measure is for the flexibility the zipper test so all you have to do is raise your right hand and then stretch at the back likewise with the left hand so this is done one time reach at your back do not ask somebody to uh, push your arms or push it upward at the back and then if you have somebody to measure it in centimeter you are uh, using ruler or tape measure at the back if it did reach then you just say reach but if it's overlapping then measure the overlap but if it did not reach then did not reach so I repeat at the back if it did not reach you just write down did not reach if it's just reach then just reach but if it overlaps that's the time you measure so that is for the zipper test so all you have to do is measure your flexibility on your arms if you want to measure the flexibility of the right hand so raise it up and then reach it at the back if you want to measure the flexibility of your left hand raise it up and then reach at the back so my left hand did not reach so that's one way to at least check your flexibility or an example of flexibility test for skill related fitness that would be for our next episode so try searching on that in advance we have at least six uh, skill related fitness assessment time I'm giving you 10 seconds to prepare your paper and pen. Question number one. What is physical fitness? Define in your own words. Five complete sentences. Question number two. Is physical fitness training beneficial or dangerous for you? Give situations. Question number three. How would you describe a physically fit and unfit person? Give two descriptions each. Question number four. Why is it important to be physically fit? Give two reasons. Question number five. What do you think should be done to become a physically fit person? Give at least two tips or strategies. Reminders. Number one, encode the five questions together with your answers. Number two, submit the file through email. Number three reminder. Those who cannot send through email, print and submit to your teacher physically. Fourth reminder, for the push-up video, submit through email or submit physically. Deadline of submission, on or before August 1, 2020, that is Saturday. So once again, physical fitness is not just for our lesson, but for everyday life. Look at your community. There are many situations where you can apply physical fitness. Be healthy, stay safe, and be strong. Music Art BE And Health School on Air Mape